Governor Pat Quinn makes it official. He will run for office in 2010. The former lieutenant governor took office in January after Rod Blagojevich was impeached and removed from office. Quinn's announcement comes as two different polls suggest that he has some work to do to win over voters. ABC 7 political reporter Charles Thomas is joining us now with more on the story today. Charles? Cheryl, Ron, just like outside right now, call it a light rain on Pat Quinn's political parade today. He formally announced his campaign for a full term as yesterday and today two separate independent polls suggested some weaknesses in his candidacy. The governor entered the hotel through the kitchen, stopping along the way in true populist fashion, greeting food service workers. Well, you guys are the ones making things happen here. That's what we are. How are you doing? Minutes later, Quinn was inside the crowded ballroom, recounting what he says he's accomplished during the nine months since his elevation to governor. We have worked together to mend our government, to mend its flaws, and to restore integrity in honor to the governor's office. But a Rasmussen poll reports that over half the state voters surveyed disapproved of Quinn's job performance. It followed a poll yesterday from SIU's Paul Simon Institute reporting that two-thirds of voters are against Quinn's proposed income tax increase to help resolve the estimated $10 billion budget deficit. The governor said he's working to change that anti-tax sentiment. Sometimes things uh, are difficult to do, but they have to be done in order to make sure our state is solid. Quinn's primary opponent, controller Dan Hines, is pushing his own version of a tax increase, a progressive system that requires a state constitutional amendment. Under our plan, if you make less than $200,000, your taxes will not go up. All the declared Republican candidates oppose a tax increase and favor spending cuts and caps. We need to impose statutory spending caps on Springfield, impose a spending discipline on Springfield, which is really where the problem has been. It's been on spending, not revenue. That plan to, to uh, only cut and, and not bring in more money is, is not realistic, and I think people will see right through it. At the Quinn event, several Democratic elected officials conceded the governor and the party have a long campaign ahead on the tax issue. I think our legislature has not done a good enough job of explaining to the people the real crisis that we're in. There is an anti-tax candidate running for governor in the Democratic primary. He is Oak Park attorney Ed Scanlon, but so far his support has not been measurable in any statewide survey that we have seen. Cheryl Ron, the television ad battle continues between Hines and Quinn, each trying to convince the voters that they have, that he has the best tax plan to increase taxes. That's a tough go. Yeah. <laughs> it's on, as they say. Thank you, Charles.